Hello, boys and girls. My name is Mike Kelly with Illusion Forum and AnimatorsForum.com. So let's take a look at the new head shop. And in particular, one of the things that you can do to improve this already amazing program. Head shop is generally very amazing, but there's one thing that it doesn't do correctly. And the good news is that we can easily fix this, assuming that you have Photoshop. And really, if you have 3D uh, programs like iClone or character creator and you don't have Photoshop you're missing out there's really nothing as good as Photoshop for doing the kind of work that we need to do so I'm going to show you how to quickly fix this uh, you're probably all aware that uh, there's a number of maps that make up the skin texture of any character in any 3d program uh, with the new skin shaders that Real Illusion has uh, provided now, so we get subsurface scattering correctly done, we have even more maps to be concerned with. But one map that's always been very important, no matter whether it's a human character or an object, is what we call the normals map. And what do we mean by normals map? Well, first of all, here's a picture created from this gentleman. It looks really good. You might say, you know, well, we have to make some adjustments. We would adjust the ears outward. We'll do that with the, either the sculpting or we'll go into the more. So I'm not going to go into that right now because uh, we can cover that at a later time. But we will want to go ahead and, and apply some morphs to make it look perfect to the head. Uh, but the first thing we need to do is wor worry about those maps. So if we go in here... And we select the skin. And you look at the skin down here. we got a really nice diffuse map. And you notice the lighting is nice and even. And I'm going to keep talking about this over and over again because it's very important to get as good a picture as you can to start with. Um, but we can do some things to overcome even bad pictures. And we'll be showing you some of those things too. Uh, but in this particular picture, it's perfect because not only is it evenly lit across, but it's also very diffuse lighting. So there's no sharp shadows. But there are the shadows caused by the wrinkles in this guy's face. Now, what we would highly likely to do is to have a normals map to handle that. And normals are really important when you turn your character sideways because what happens is that the, um, <laughs> that, that the, I get mail, I gotta turn off my email. <laughs> Some of you guys write me. That the um, uh, normals control what uh, the bias that you see. They kind of are phony, but they, they make uh, things look as if they're sculpted into a figure. In this particular case, there's a little bit of sculpting going on, but basically when you turn sideways, there's, there's no wrinkles in this guy. Now, there is, if you go in here, if you go into Pro, and you go into changing the skin types, we can go to change to a very old male type. And this will put some phony wrinkles in there. When I say phony, I mean it won't pay any respect to what the image itself is like. And this might be good for some old people, but it's not going to be good for people that have very distinct wrinkles because what we want to do is have a real normal map that follows that. And if we look at the normal map here in the bump section, you can see that it's very, very smooth everywhere except for the ears, a little tiny bit on the eyes and the nose, just a, just a little tiny bit there in the mouth. Uh, this normal map is the same normal map applied no matter what the face is. Uh, they just apply a default normal map. So there is no custom normal map that's generated. We're going to show you how to do a custom normal map here. But the other thing you might want to pay attention to is, even though this texture here is is 4K, you can see it's 4K there, 496 by 496, the normal that they provide is only 2K. So there's another problem there. And we want the normal to be the same resolution as the face because that way we'll get that kind of detail that we want. So how do we resolve this? Well, with the diffuse selected, we're going to go ahead and launch this, launch into Photoshop. And it will take just a moment to bring up Photoshop. Now, if you have another editor attached to it, it'll launch that too. But unless your editor can do all that Photoshop was, again, I strongly recommend you bring Photoshop. So with that diffuse selected, we're going to go up here to Filter. We're going to go to 3D, and we're going to go Generate Normal Map. And really, it's just that easy. That's really all about what we have to do. Now, it's going to come up with the defaults, and I strongly suggest leaving these defaults and not worrying about it and just saying OK. And then we have a normal map. And you can see, as opposed to that blank texture we had before, now we got all kinds of the wrinkles individually here. we got a much more uh, detailed around the eyes, even around the nose and the mouth, much more detailed. So that's our normal map. So now we're going to go up, we're going to save that, export it. Quick export is, PNG is always a good thing to export, so I like to export it like that. 
and we'll call it uh, old normals. And we'll, we'll save that. It's always a good idea to be saving your uh, things that we work out of Photoshop because you may want to reload them later. And if we regenerate this skin, it's going to override all these maps that we have. So then we come in here and we go to uh, where we are there and we download that. We're going to use a normal map. And in a moment, you'll see. There we go. Now, if we go in here, we have a much better look. And you can even adjust this. You can see you can get the texture. So you can see here's the normal map we had before, nothing. And then when we bring in the normal map, you can see the, the better detail. And of course, the more the closer you are to the face, the more the normal map will have some effect on there. But you can see that those are are the real wrinkles. Plus the other thing is the more lighting that you have that's more um, dramatic. For example, if you have a light that comes from above or a spotlight or uh, lighting that hits from the side, the normal map is going to be very important. So that's how you can fix the... And, and then, now at this point, of course, we go over here too, you can see it's now 4K. We definitely want that to always be 4K. So that's how you fix the normal map in uh, Headshop. And hopefully you're enjoying this fantastic program.